the easiest way to dry run the program is making dry run table so welcome to my channel guys make easy and today in this video i will explain you how you can dry run the program and find the output in very easiest way so those who are preparing for se so this is important for you guys so just watch this video till the end and you will be very much clear with dry run the program so there are a few videos already made by me in my youtube channel these are available so you can check it out you can search in youtube make easy q basic you will get this channel and you can watch this videos so in here while making dry run table you should use the variable name write this variable name in the table so i have used a variable in the program so i have written here a next is b variable so i have brought here b and then for the loop i have used here k so i am writing here k also after writing k i am writing this loop also like for k equals to 1 to 10 here i should dis i will display true or false condition because inside the loop there are three lines written so if this loop will be true then this line of code will be executed the next k for for loop and then ends up and i have written here output also why output because i am using here print so whenever you see print statement you should write output okay then a again it is here b again it is here so you don't need to write it again and again once you wrote the variable name it is done so now let's continue declares of ser the declaration of the sub procedure fine inside the bracket nothing is here so no parameters are used so if no parameter then you can keep this without bracket while calling the sub procedure and while writing the definition also you can just remove double open and closing bracket now our execution start from here because value of a is 1 so i will write here 1 in the column of a value of b is what 2 so in the column of b i will write here 2 not 2 1 it is mentioned here 1 now for k equals to 1 to 10 step 2 so let's first of all k value is 1 first time and this loop will go up to 10 and every time step 2 means the value of k will be incremented by 2 so first time value of k will be 1 so i will write here 1 because it is mentioned here k equals to 1 so value of k is 1 so when the value of k is 1 the for loop will check the condition whether this value of k equals to 1 is in the range of 1 to 10 or not yes it is in the range so i should write here true because value of k is 1 and we need to write true when the value of k is from 1 to 10 range so it is true first time when this for loop is true the three lines of code here like print a equals to some formula b equals to this line will be executed the first line print a multiply by b so value of a is what 1 value of b is what 1 so a into 1 a is 1 so this will be printed in the output screen if you can see the print statement you should write in the output done okay next after that a equals to a into 10 plus 1 so in the a column i will go here initially value of a was 1 now a into 10 that means 1 into 10 plus 1 that is 1 into 10 is 10 10 plus 1 is 11 so value of a is now 11 now b equals to b plus 1 so initially value was 1 so b plus 1 means 1 plus 1 that is 2 okay then next k next k means k equals to k plus 2 because it is written here is step 2 when it is written here step 2 you should add 2 to the previous value of the k so previous value of k is what you can see here 1 so next k means k equals to k plus 2 that will be 3 because of this is step 2 you should add 2 to the previous value so the value of k is 3 when this next k statement execute it will go back to the for loop again to check the condition now check k value is 3 the 3 is in the range of 1 to 10 or not yes it is in the range so it will be again true condition true when condition is true again this three line of code will be executed because we use loop to repeatedly execute the same line of code let's execute first line after this for loop is true so print a into b now in this column check the value of a and b value of a is 11 value of b is 2 so a into b means 11 into 2 is 22 it will be printed in the output screen because of this print statement 
Now after the print, a equals to a into 10 plus 1. Value of a is already 11, so 11 into 10 plus 1. This is 110 plus 1, 111. So value of a is what? 111. After that, b equals to b plus 1. Value of b is already 2, 2 plus 1 will be 3. Then next k, next k means increment the value of k by 2. So initially it was 3. Now 3 plus 2 will be 5. Y plus 2 because it is written here step 2 in the for loop. Now next k, next k, after next k it will go back to the for loop again to check the condition. Now value of k is what you can see? 5, the latest value, 5. And the loop will execute from 1 to 10. So again it is true because 5 is in the range. When it is true, again the three line of code inside the loop will be executed. The first line is a into b. Print a into b. Print means in the output. A into b means a value is 1, 1, 1. Into 3 is 3, 3, 3. So 3, 3 will be, 3 times 3 will be printed in the output screen. Next, a equals to a into 10 plus 1. a is already 1, 1, 1 into 10 plus 1. 1, 1, 1 into 10 plus 1 will be 1, 1, 1, 1. You can check this by multiplying the value and adding. After that, b equals to b plus 1. So b value will be 4. Initially it was 3. 3 plus 1 is 4. Next k. Next k means value of k will be incremented by 2 because step 2 is written here. So remember this. So it is now 5 plus 2 that is 7. When it is 7, it will go back to the for loop to check the condition. Now value of k is what? 7 and 7 is in the range of 1 to 10 or not? Yes, it is in the range. So again true. When this is true, again print a into b. So value of a in this column, latest value 1, 1, 1, 1 into 4. So it will be 4, 4, 4, 4. Printed because of this print statement. After that, a equals to a into 10 plus 1. Again, 1, 1, 1, 1 into 10 plus 1. So if you will multiply and add the 1 to that, so it will be 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 5 times 1. After that, b equals to b plus 1. So initially it was 4, 4 plus 1 will be 5. Then next k, next k means increment the value of k by 2. Initially it was 7, 7 plus 2 is 9. Still this condition is true because loop will execute from 1 to 10. So true. When it is true, it will print again a into b. a into b means now 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 into 5 is 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. After printing a equals to a into 10 plus 1 again. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 into 10 plus 1 it will be 6 times 1 after that b equals to b plus 1 value of b will be 6 now because initially it was 5 5 plus 1 is 6 again next k next k means increment the value of k by 2 initially it was 9 9 plus 2 is 11 after this next k it will go back to the for loop to check the condition now value of k is 11 the loop will execute from 1 to 10 only value is 11 so this is not in the range so not in the range means false when this is false the control will go from this for loop to directly after next case statement that is end serve so program execution finish when program execution finish it will go from where it is called from main module here it is called after this calling there is a line called end so program is finished and our final output is this one, two, two, three, 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 four, 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 five, 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 five. This is the final output. So in this pro, in this way, you should dry run the program and find the output, and it is the easiest way to do. Hope you are clear with this concept. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Have a great day and subscribe to my channel.